Hey, it's Peter and I am in Peter's kitchen and today I have a real treat for you. No, I have a real treat for me. I've been on the carb diet, low carb, trying to lose some weight. And yes, I've been doing very well. Thank you very much. But I miss my chocolate pudding. I miss my ice cream. So guess what? Today I've got a real treat for me. <laughs> I bought a little machine that's going to make ice cream. A little, a little machine that's going to make ice cream. Is it worth it or not? Let's find out together. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Oh, this thing is heavy. I bought an ice cream maker. Look at this. It is, let's set this up so you can see everything. There we go. All right, so this is a Cousinart ice cream maker and the model number is ICE-100. They wrote it here twice. Well, actually it says Modelo. Okay, so one is English O, which is model ICE-100 and Modelo ICE-100. Okay, so let's get the box out. Let me pull it out and put the machine up on the counter. I have to warn you, this sucker is heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, dear Lord. All righty, uh, through the magic of television, this is the machine I bought. It's big. It, it is not going to be the kind of machine that you, that you are going to actually have a a, a place for it on the counter. You can see it's quite large. Let's get the rest of this wrapping off. So this is a good size baby. Okay, let me see if I can show it to you from the top so you can see what the buttons are. All right, I know the biggest number you want to know. How much did that cost? Okay, well that is important. Okay, this cost, let's just round it up to uh, $300. Oh my god, for ice cream? Okay, yes, all right, but let's go through this stuff first. You got the name, you got the timer button, you got the power button, you got the stop and start button. Now, I did watch quite a few videos of people running this uh, machine. So, actually, it is, if I put it more into the light, that's your controls, and this is where the ice cream goes. So, I can open it like that. Oh, we got a caution. Unit should remain wrong, yet yeah, right. Uh, unit should remain upright at all times. If the unit is turned on its side or upside down, you will need to return it to the upright position and wait 24 hours before using. Okay, so uh, I did have somebody else warn me about that. So um, this has been sitting on the couch waiting for me to show it to you for uh, longer than 24 hours since yesterday morning when this came in by Amazon so I have done that all right so give me a second uh, well let me show you the, the this part too real quick all right I don't, I don't know if you're interested or not this pops out this is a refrigerated section so we don't have to put anything in the freezer to uh, freeze pre-freeze and all that kind of stuff yeah I'm gonna put everything right in here I'm gonna take the paddle out I'm going to put everything right in here, then I'm going to put the paddle on, and then I'm going to put this right here, and then the machine is going to use its internal compressor and its, its um, paddle going round to make the ice cream. So you might say to me, Peter, how, 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 how do you justify $300? Well, the ice creams, especially the keto ones and stuff, is... Uh, like seven eight nine dollars and if i do that for you know three or four months plus it's got other crap in it this doesn't have any of the other stuff in it it just basically uh is good it's got what i just told you it's got heavy cream whipping cream and the better that you could find it uh the fresher that you could find it some people live in areas where you can actually get the whipping cream from um uh you know from a, a local farm or a dairy I can't, so I buy the Publix one, um, or the one that I just use now was basically the, um, uh, what do you call it, Kmart one. Okay, I got it washed. I used uh, warm water and soap, not hot water, just warm. 
I, if there's anything left over in there, I don't want it inside of me. Okay, so, and this is the paddle. And yes, they give you two different paddles, one for gelato and one for ice cream. I'll have to test those out and, and uh, find out what the difference is. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. We'll find out if it works. Well, it does work. I've had a friend of mine test this. So I'm gonna turn this guy on and then I'm gonna make it start. Okay, so that's gonna start to go around, okay? I don't have the mixing bowl in it, but I'm gonna time this 15 minutes ahead of time. And the reason for that is uh, I have discovered through a friend that it takes half the amount of time to make the ice cream. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so let me get myself organized. Organize, organize, all right, power off. <laughs> a little bit of peace and quiet. Okay, so I'm going to put this, if I can get it open, in here and just drop it down. I like to make sure you guys can watch. Welcome to all the YouTube viewers and all the Rumble viewers. I appreciate both of you guys. Now, I didn't put this in correctly. This has like a little slice here and it's got a little indentation here and here. Woo, that's cold. Okay, so I'm gonna let that set down. Now I'm gonna power it on. I'm gonna hit the timer button and I'm gonna hit it over and over until I get down to 20, I like 23. Now I'm gonna push start. All right, so this is going round and round. So I have heard through the grapevine uh, that you pour it in there while it's running, okay? So, when I put in the three egg yolks, I kind of like break the egg yolks here so I can make sure, like in a bowl, so I can make sure it's not, um, not it's not, I mean it doesn't have any of the, uh, whatchamacallits, the shells, okay. And then I just let the, the whites slip right through my fingers. Separate, clip, and trim. That's by squeezing the fingers. And then basically I get my one. I get my two, so, and then I get that little white thing. I don't know what it is, but that bothers me, so I don't let that go in. Squeeze my fingers together, kind of like a scissors action. Put in the second egg yolk, and then I just pull out the third egg yolk. Just gotta be real gentle, they're egg yolks. Egg yolks break. If I squeeze my fingers together, there's the egg yolk, I mean the egg whites. They just go right through my fingers. There we go, Finger egg whites, egg whites, there we go. Get them down, just gotta get the egg whites between and then I use my fingers to squeeze this and then I've got an egg yolk in my hand. And then I let the egg yolk slide out. I take the egg whites and save them. Now here's the biggest shebang, okay? There's three raw egg yolks in there. That should make some people go like, what? No, thumbs down. <laughs> so I put one quarter of a cup of allulose in there. And the reason for that is because I find if you use too much of this sugar, that's a different sugar, because I don't want to say artificial, fake, substitute, because some of these are really sugars. They're just not the table sugar that you and I are, are used to. So what I do is I put in two kinds of sugars. I put in um, a, a quarter of a cup of the allulose, but in the drawer here, I keep a little container of Truvia, which is basically urethritol, whatever you call it. How come I can't pronounce that word? And no, I don't use a teaspoon. I use a tablespoon. So I take a nice big tablespoon of urethithrol and whoop, now we got two different kinds of uh, sugars. And you know what? It works well. Okay, so let's put that back in the drawer. So I'm gonna put this now on the blender. This is easy. You're just putting a few things in here. Don't forget the cover because you get whatever's in here everywhere, everywhere in the room. And I'm gonna run this on the very lowest speed I can. Okay, all I wanna do is get that mixed up. So now I just got two more things to add. I gotta add heavy cream. I've gotta add some coconut milk. Now other people use almond milk. Some people use half and half, but the basis is the heavy cream. I'm going to add one cup. There's almost nothing else left in there. Turn the Vitamix off. 
I've learned that too. <laughs> so I'm going to add uh, three quarters of a cup, or you can add a, a, a whole cup if you want, of coconut milk. Now I use the coconut milk because I'm doing uh, low sugar keto stuff. Okay, so that means I want lower, lowest amounts of sugar that I can get in here. And then I'm going to put that in there. Now, the heavy cream is going to get, it's going to rise. It's going to get thicker. Okay, so let's put this aside. Heavy cream is what people use to make whipped cream and things like that. So we have uh, something, if you beat it enough, it'll actually become a whipped cream. We don't want that. We want uh, an ice cream base, like a custard. So this is my ice cream custard. There we go. Now you can watch it going round and round. There's more in here. Okay, so I'm getting it all out. Just scraping down the bowl, you know, the fun part. There we go. We're gonna count down this uh, 23 minutes. I'm gonna close the top. Okay, wh look at this for a second before you go, okay? Don't get bored, just wait, hold on, hold your pantyhose on, okay? You see how the paddle is just going round and the mixture is just kind of like just slopping in there? Well, Peter, why don't you turn the camera on so that people can see? Okay, give me a break. Okay, so see how there's, th there's nothing going on in there. Okay, I mean, it's just going round and round. But the sides are cold. This is ice cold out here. All right, so as the, um, as the cream and the, and the mixture for the ice cream freeze against this bowl, okay, uh, it's going to scrape it off. Now, it's starting to puff up a little bit. Let me open this so you can see it. See, these things are gonna rise into two puffs of ice cream scoops. So, but we've got another nine minutes to go. Here we go. Guess what we got here? We got ice cream, ice cream. Whoa, look at this. This took about 30 minutes, okay? So a little longer than I thought, but here we got the ice cream. What I'm going to do is, there's the ice cream. <laughs> you want some good looking ice cream? Where is my, there it is. All right, so this is gonna go in here like so. So this does not come out like hard ice cream right out of the machine. You ca you've got to put it like uh, in the freezer for a while. And when you put it in the freezer for a while, oh, why am I doing this here? Let me turn on the camera so you could watch. Darn, darn, darn. Okay. So you put it in the freezer and it gets harder and harder. And from my past experiences with this mix, it's always scoopable. It's almost like a little bit soft. Let's keep the ice cream in the bowl. Okay, and guess what? Since I'm the ice cream maker, guess who gets to lick the paddle and who gets to lick the bowl and the spoon and everything? Well, I made the ice cream. It's my privilege. There we go. So I would say it's got three servings in here. Unless I want to be a pig. I cut that half and that half. If I want to be a double pig, I could just eat the whole thing. <laughs> Doesn't that look awesome? Oops, instead of cleaning up, I made another batch. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. Ice cream is just so, it's so erotic. Well, maybe that's not the right word. Close, okay. So I'm letting it, uh, I wash the bowl out and I'm letting it cool down and I'm going to power it off now and I'm going to set it up, turn it on and I'm going to go for, uh, we're going to go for the regular 20 minutes. Okay. I'll bring it down to 25 minutes. Okay. So I'll start this up, open the top, turn off the Vitamix. Okay. So what did I do different this time? I put chocolate powder in. I use the Hershey's dark chocolate because it's not really dark chocolate, to tell you the truth. It actually is a Dutch process of the chocolate. 
Okay, so same mix. You know the drill. Okay, let me come back over here to me. So let me put the lid on here. Let's close it. We got 23 minutes. I'll be back in 23 minutes. I'll put this in a container and then I'll do the goodbye everybody go home. But let's see what the chocolate looks like. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back. I kind of freaked myself out. I made the vanilla batch and it came out so good. I wanted to make a chocolate batch. Now look how tall this one got. I told you the, the, uh, the whipping cream climbs. It gets taller and taller. Let me open it up. Okay, so you can see 60 minutes here. It went all the way down to zero and I had to restart it so I can make it go round and round. So I am going to stop this guy and let's just get a spoon. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Do I, for all this work, do I deserve like a little taste? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, wow. So I'm going to pull the paddle. There's ice cream down there. There's ice cream over here. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ice cream everywhere. I'm going to put that in there. So now I'm going to scoop this out of here. Plenty of ice cream in here. Anybody want ice cream? Huh? Look, 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 look. That's ice cream. And I'm putting it like in, this is like a yogurt. Well, it is a yogurt container. And there we go. We have got amazing. I would say we're going to fill this container up three quarters of the way. Ice cream wants to fight with me. You're going to lose ice cream. I can tell you that right now. There you go. Okay. So let me put the big camera on. So you can see the smile on my face. I got ice cream, chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream. I am not sad that I, I bought this. This is kind of like a luxury item. So if you're going like, I can spend $300 just to make me a little bit of ice cream, then ice cream is not for you. But for me, chocolate pudding, uh, um, potato chips, which got solved with bacon chips, uh, ice cream, chocolate pudding, desserts, they are gone. And I find myself like I want some, but because I'm eating high fat, I feel okay. Okay. It's not like I'm craving them. But now let's see what happens when I put this into my, uh, my eating pattern. I probably have, uh, you know, on the weekends or special on your birthday, on my birthday, on president's day, on congressman's day, on the garbage man's day, on the lawn cutting day, on the pool guy's day, on the I flush the toilet twice day. I'll have excuses to have ice cream. I had a really good time making this show. Catch you later. Thank you for being with me. Oh, what's the, what do they say? Subscribe? Ring the bell? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. All right. Peter from Peter's Kitchen. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Wish. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.